took the samurai's code Twisting it for dough Now the honor you claim is just a cheap stage show ha! But we ain't proving You can't rewrite the past with cash in hand The power of a closed wallet Now that's where we stand The pain cuts deep And we'll fight that fight You can't claim culture We're uniting the light History ain't yours to sell or buy But for some it's time you realize why This is still happening, by the way. I don't know if you forgot or not, but it is still happening. Ubisoft rejects the request to remove the Segi Gihara Rifle Corps banner from the Assassin's Creed Shadows art book, all right? So they're still telling them that the files for the Western sales now, they can correct the Asian sales, but for the Western sales, those ones, they can't be fixed anymore, all right? We even have an update from the uh, Gunpowder Kage himself. So he writes uh, a lot of stuff in Japanese, and I have been told that, you know, probably better not do Google Translate on this, so let's hop on over to ChatGPT, our good friend ChatGPT, our good friend ChatGPT. Let's find out. Now, I included the personal notice that goes on his uh, profile, up on his x.com profile, just so we have everything kind of contextualized about who this person is and why they are doing this, okay? And so, it reads, this is a personal account notice. This is a personal account. So these statements are not official, but I mainly tweet about the Segi Gihara Musketeers. So that's the rifle corps, but this is, this is how ChatGPT translated that, okay? Just so you know, when I say musketeers, I'm not refer referring to the French guys with nice pimp hats, all right? I retweet photos and videos related to the Segi Gihara Musketeers. Starting from fiscal year R4, that's Rewa 4, that's the Rewa 4, I will be in charge of the large cannon for the Segi Gihara Musketeers. I aim to surpass the previous performances through diligent effort. All right, so this is who we're dealing with. It says, update on September 5th from Ubisoft. Here's a summary of the content of the email that was sent to the Segi Gihara Rifle Corps regarding the usage of their flag and... and I Icon iconography, sorry, iconography, uh, and it is not going well, okay? So here's a summary. It says, the response was delayed due to time required confirming with related parties. The process for the art book policy cannot be disclosed. They reconsidered the measures for the art book outside of Asia, but since the shipping process has progressed, further modifications or returns are not possible. The corrected data for the Asian region cannot be disclosed before its release. They apologize for the delay and any inconvenience caused and asked for, you know, their understanding, meaning the, the Segi Gihara's understanding. And the relevant parts will be changed to a different design somehow because they said they can't do that, but somehow they're going to do that somehow. And they wish the success to the Segi Gihara Battle, Battle Festival 124. Okay? So then they also go on there, the uh, Gunpowder Kage, he goes on to add a little bit more to this. He says, as a result, the only changes that occurred were the passage of time and the fact that overseas data corrections were not made. The information provided was only about the corrected data for the Asian region. And even then, they said that that wasn't going to get that fixed. It was puzzling that even though they had previously sent the corrected concept art, a small photo from a distance, they were unable to send the corrected data this time, meaning they were unable to send any of what they promised, like the finished product, to them, which tells me they're not going to do it. So let's go back up to the top here, all right? Back up to the top here. The response was delayed due to time required for confirming with related parties. You know what that translates to. You and I both know what that translates to. They drug their heels. They had no intention of going through and changing this stuff because they wanted to have it in there. They like how it looks. You must remember, these people do not view Japan as a place on Earth. You know, it's not, it's not where humans live. It's some fantasy land that they can just Tolkienize. They can just take things out of. And so when you try to remove the elves out of Tolkien, it's not so Tolkien anymore. And just the same as you take your teeny tiny little Segi Gihara flag that's in the very background of this one picture, 
totally ruined, right, Ubisoft? And see, this is what tells me there's more in there. <clears throat> the stuff that leaked out, this is what tells me there's a lot more iconography that was stolen that just didn't make it into the, uh, what was leaked out. And that they are doing their best to just scare people off with being like, well, I'm a big corporation. I haven't got time for you. To kind of signal that we're too big to be sued by you, you little corporation. You know? And it, you know, the, the process of what, uh, what goes on with the art book can't be disclosed. What do you mean? It's an art book. You just have to tell them, sorry, it's in the printing process. We are not going to be, <laughs> we're not going to be changing it. We can't now. We've asked for 10,000 copies, and what would we do with them otherwise? And that, again, not a good enough excuse, but it would be better than, we can't tell you what's going on. The, the goblins and the dungeons of, of French Canada. <laughs> the dungeons of the goblins and the dungeons of French Canada are quickly printing these things out. There's no time to change a teeny tiny flag in the back. And that's why it tells me it's not a teeny tiny flag in the back. They've done so much more with this. They've done so much more with this. I guarantee you. They reconsidered the measures for the art book outside of Asia, but since the shipping process has progressed, further modifications or returns are not possible. Now, I used to work in graphic design, and this is true. If you send something off and you and they're at the printer with it, they're they're actually at the physical machine running things through. They're gonna demand that you go through with the job because they've already got it there. They've got it lined up and go. It's got to go through. Mistakes or otherwise, you know. And that's it. That's how it goes. Up until that point, you can stop them, but they give you plenty of time before that point. So Ubisoft knew this was wrong from the get go, from the jump, if you will. All right. And then, then they were reminded by the internet that this was wrong. Then they were reminded by Segi Gahara themselves that this was wrong. And yet they still went to the printing machine before throwing their hands up and saying, Oh no! It's too late now! Ooh! Sorry, Segi Gahara, Japan man! Oh! And so, for the Asian region, they're going to correct the data. They're going to put out a different book for Japan, for China, for Korea, Southeast Asia, India, so on and so forth. I don't know about Russia. I don't know if Ubisoft is on good terms with Russia right now. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But anyway, this tells me, again, that there was much, much, much more in this book than that one little picture in there, okay? It tells me there was way more crap that they had in this whole process of an uh, art book that they don't want to get caught uh, with having to shift out. They don't want to have to change out huge parts of their concept art book because it contains all of this stuff that they didn't ask permission to use. And if they give Segi Gihara what they want, well, guess what happens when the book comes out? Well, they have to do that over and over and over and over again. They have to stop the printer for every other culture that felt ripped off. Okay? They're scumbags. I can't believe that we exist on the same planet as these things. I'm not even sure if they're people at this point. They could be the goblins that are printing up the books in the dungeons of French Canada. I, I don't know if there's dungeons in French Canada. I'm pretty sure there's goblins, though. I'm pretty sure there's goblins. But we should make it very clear that the gunpowder kage, matchlock kage, I've said it wrong this whole time. Ugh. <laughs> the matchlock kage. Thank you for your comment. He replies to this person asking if they're planning to sue. And he says, I have no plans to sue at this time. We are keeping an eye on the situation, but continuing to request the removal. However, if forcing the sale is what Ubisoft wants to do, it will end badly for them. Right? I don't know. If they're waiting for the book to come out, and that's a stronger legal status, a legal stance, rather, than, say, the book still being in the printing process, and thus, you know, the judge can say, well, you know, they're... It's not exactly a solid case of them defaming you and stealing your property yet. So they're waiting for them to get to market with it. And then once they start selling it, actually, you know, people paying money for this stolen product, that then can be advanced into a, a legal battle. At this point, without the book being in, like, uh, the marketplace, it is more of a, it's more private right now, I guess, is what the best way would put it. Because again... The pre-order sales on the collector's edition that feature these books, they are not showcasing every last page that's inside of this book. So, again, 
the judge or any other legal department can say like the book has to be sold out and then seen has to be sold not sold out of product but like sold out into the market and then when it's opened you take a look at it you can find out if stuff was stolen it's a stronger stance there's been cases before that stopped it from going to the printer i know but this is a stronger stance to take and i think that they're wise to do it because then the evidence is right there they have all these email correspondence with ubisoft saying no, 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 we can't remove it. So sorry, so sorry. And now they have the full book out there where they didn't remove it. And in fact, there's so much more abuse. And that's the thing that Ubisoft isn't counting on, right? They are planning on being a multi-billion dollar corporation. We're too big to be sued, you understand me, you know, you little Segigihara rifle core. And that's what they're hoping, is that they intimidate these guys with just how big and important they are as a multinational, multi-billion dollar game studio, right? Crazy, I know, but this is how they operate. Quite obviously, this is what they've done to them. However, what if they start ripping off other things, other sacred and protected historical imagery that we know that they pulled in here already? For that initial concept art that had like the tiger ropes and the roads and a couple of cars on the roads in the distance. Yeah, that, that was pretty wild. And then the rice fields from uh, Cambodia. I think it was the Cambodian rice fields that were somehow transplanted into Sengoku, Japan. Yeah. And the rice being outside in the rain. That's right. That was the other one. But yeah, and then we looked at those pictures too, where we found them from iStock, where they just simply stuffed them in there, just photo bashed them in there. So that's your concept art book, guys. That's your high quality Ubisoft uh, seal of approval uh, product right there, where they just, you know, went out and rendered out a couple of Asian fellas doing a reenactment for some photo shoots for stock photos. And they, uh, they just slapped that right in there, their concept art. And they said, yep, this is going to be worth money right here. We're going to make them pay. How does that feel? How does that feel to go to finally see that, to see that that's just some photos off a of Google search? Some of them still had the iStock stamp on them. I wonder if that'll make it into print. But you'll see, though, that, that, that that's mostly what makes up this concept art. It's not hand-drawn stuff. That should be infuriating, honestly. If you're paying for a collector's edition concept art book, that should be hand-drawn stuff. Not just some stuff that some kid in a middle school Photoshop class can throw together in like a period or two, all right? A class, length of a class or two, you know? You shouldn't be allowed to, you shouldn't be allowed to do that. Like that should be against the rules. Not like a law, but that should be like ethically unsound. Like the, the gaming ethics committee should come through and be like, hey man, you need to take this concept art a little more seriously. It's not concept art if you're just photo bashing stuff you found off of Google. It's just photo bashing. <laughs> I don't know. I expect a little bit more out of Ubisoft. Excuse me. Pardon me all the hell. I happen to expect a little bit more out of a multinational, multi-billion dollar corporation that's been in business longer than I've been alive. So, I think. I don't know if I care. But... This is where we're at with these guys. This is the buttons that they've pushed, and that's as far as they can get. Right now, the Matchlock Kage, not the Gunpowder Kage, I was calling him the whole time, the Matchlock Kage, he has to say that he's not going to sue until the book is out into the marketplace, which, as I explained, is a much stronger uh, legal stance to take in this regard. Uh, as far as whether or not they'll get through with it, I don't know. I can't speak to that or not. The law seems to favor the West. And I, I don't see that changing. So, good luck to the Segigihara Rifle Corps, but consider advertising that you're the most stolen from reenactment group in Japan. You know, the most plundered reenactment group in Japan. You know, everybody wants your stuff, you know? And maybe consider marketing yourselves like that, that everybody wants to be the Segigihara Rifle Corps with permission or not, you know? Might be a nice little... Maybe put together a little manga about it, right? Like, you guys are all your real Segigihara Rifle Corps guys, and then a bunch of Frenchmen try to do it, and they look like the old musketeers from France with some samurai armor tagged on them or something. Just total goofballs. You know, and they're like, we want to be part of this. And you say, no. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens with them. But I hope that Ubisoft honestly ends up losing it entirely over I really do. I hope that they get taken to the cleaners. They need to learn a lesson. 
they need to learn a lesson about this. It is one thing to take inspiration from a culture. It is one thing to say that you are creating a historical, a faithful historical re recreation like they have. They've advertised this as a faithful recreation of Sengoku Japan. But you and I both know that that is not what they have chucked out here, that that is not what they have created. They've created some fantasy land. And then to, uh, tried to tell us that their history experts, their cultural experts, all confirmed this to be real and true, especially when the characters had their butt bowing. Remember that? When they went butt to butt and bowed to Yasuke? I wonder what that means. I wonder what that means. But this is a short one about the Sekigihara Rifle Corps today. Just wanted to get you guys up to date on Ubisoft's continuing spiral into Trouble Town. Until the next one, guys. Good luck out there.